Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are making another function in C++. We're just going over all the simple examples. Uh, in this case, we are doing a simple structure function. So a structure function will be a little less intuitive maybe than some of the other functions we've been making, but uh, just as important. So we should learn how to do it now with this simple example. Um, so if we're making a function that returns a structure type, first of all, we're going to need to define some structures here. So we'll do that in between the header files and uh, the main function, and certainly in between the header files and all the other functions and function prototypes. So let's start out with structure. The structure tag here that we're going to give it, let's just call it person, because I've decided that we're going to make like a little profile for a person uh, with two fields. So we'll make the first one a string for their name, and uh, let's give them an integer for their age. All right, and don't forget you have to include the semicolon here after the last curly brace of this guy in order to make sure that this works. All right. Now we're ready to um, build, start writing our first function um, that's going to return the structure type. So actually we're going to start off by writing person because now it knows that when we write person, we're referring to the structure that has this exact form right here. So that's the type that this function will return. That's not the name though. We need to make the name. So we'll say something simple like um, read input something like that. So read input is the name of the function that, when we'll, that we'll be using when we're calling it in the main function. And let's pass in a structure and we'll pass it in by reference and we'll talk about that why in a second. Um, but we'll pass in a structure by reference um, and that means that we'll be ready now to write the body of our function. Okay, we'll make it super simple. So when someone calls this function out of the main function, it'll just simply say a nice little message here that says enter name. Okay, and then we'll have, uh, we'll allow the user to see in uh, w.name. So we're passing in this structure here, and this will just, uh, this will just sort out that, okay, we're going to fill out the name field here because that's one of the fields. Um, and then we'll see out simply uh, enter age. All right, and then we'll have the user see in the age. And same thing, it will be w.age. Okay, and this will now, uh, we'll, all we'll do is we'll just finish off this function by saying return w. All right, and this will actually physically update whatever structure we passed in here because we're using that pass by reference uh, that we know because we have that and sign there. Okay, so we'll come down into our main function now. And let's make this very easy. We'll just start off with a function, uh, a structure down here. So we'll just call it person A, and we're not going to initialize it. We could initialize it, and you would know how if you watched the other structure tutorial that I made. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to fill out the two fields in here. Uh, the person who's using the program will fill this out by, uh, by calling this function here. All right, so all we want to do is we just want to call that function, read input. We want to pass in this... Uh, like uninitialized structure that we have that has the waiting to have the name and age filled out. And then all we have to do is maybe we'll just see out um, what is and line, first of all, just to give us some space so we can actually see what we're doing. And then we'll say a nice little message, something like um, person A's name is, and then we'll just have a dot name and we'll say, and they are um, a dot age, and something nice little years old exclamation mark. All right, so if we go and compile that, let's see what we get. Hopefully we put in all the semicolons. Looks like we're okay. Let's go and run this, and if it works, let's talk about what we're seeing. Um, here, I'll just make this so we can see the rest of the code. All right, so we're gonna enter a name. Uh, let's say your name is Brayden. So you enter that in, and let's say your age is 100. Look at that, person A's name is Brayden, and they are 100 years old, exclamation mark. There you go, so the last thing we might wanna do just to keep it looking nice and clean, is just go and line, and uh, if we go run that again, Pretty much, it's pretty much all we need. All right, so what if you can use another name, like when your name is Bob and you're 20 years old. There you go, person A's name is Bob and they are 20 years old. So there you can see um, 
let's say uh, we can walk through this. So basically what we did in our main function, we defined this blank structure that has this exact uh, sort of format. And then when we read input A, we're just passing this in. Uh, we're passing this into our function, our structure function, which is right here. And uh, because we're passing by reference, <coughs> excuse me, um, whatever we do to uh, whatever we do to w inside this function will happen to a because that's the one that we passed in inside this main function. So we just add in the name field, add in the age field manually with the user, and then that's why uh, even though we're calling a dot name, not w dot name, because it was passed by reference, we're updating. Uh, we're just calling it w in here, but we're actually updating a out in the main function. So, anyways, there you go. That's just a simple example of uh, how you can use a structure function. Um, obviously, it can be a lot more complicated than this, but that's just, uh, I don't want to scare you off with the first time maybe that you've ever seen this. All right, well, I will see you in the next video.